Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I want to talk about a problem that I think a lot of people have been experiencing, myself included, and that is getting emails that seems like somebody else is trying to use your email address to sign up for a Facebook account. So you can see here I am in my Gmail and I have these really nine messages here that I've gotten just today from Facebook saying, hey, welcome to your new account, click here to confirm, oh, you forgot your password, click here to reset your password, and none of these emails are being sent for something that I've done on Facebook, and I've been receiving these for weeks now. Uh, it doesn't happen every day, but maybe every couple days I'll get a blast of 10 emails that look kind of like this. Welcome to Facebook, thanks for creating your account, here's how you get started, and I didn't create this account. So what I've been doing is clicking, didn't sign up for Facebook, please let us know, down here at the bottom. And you click on that link and it, uh, you know, you report some unauthorized use, but this has still been happening and I haven't been able to find a lot of documentation on it. So I figured I'd cover it here on YouTube, give you guys some tips on what you can do if this is happening to you and hope that maybe some other people have some really good ideas as well that they can share in the comments section. So we've reported it as unauthorized, but that's still not doing too much. Uh, so what I did is I searched Google and I found this thread right here, how to report somebody else using my email. And Facebook kind of gives, to be honest, just a real BS answer here. And it was, uh, I think it was from quite a while ago, almost nine months ago, uh, but it doesn't really say anything. And then people kind of just keep going down here and Facebook doesn't respond again. There were a few good ideas. This one is actually a good one right here. Uh, what you can do is if your the account was actually created with your email address, you can go to the facebook.com homepage like this enter your email address, so mine actually will take off caps locks, is webmaster at ansonalex.com. Uh, and actually they didn't finish the creation process with this email address for whatever reason, because when I click forgot my password, which is what you might want to try and do, it takes me to the screen and I can go ahead and enter webmaster and and it tells me that this didn't return any results. But that's because I'm using a generic email address, it's for my business. Uh, if you can get your email address entered here, and change your password, you can at least make sure that they're not going to be able to log into that account. Then you can actually go into your account settings uh, and delete your email address off of it or just delete the account entirely. So if you reset the password to the account that you didn't create but was created with your email address, go ahead and log in. So I'm actually logging into my real Facebook account here and I'm going to go into my settings by clicking on the gear icon and then settings and you'll notice that uh, in this section right here, I can edit my password. So go ahead and change that password so that nobody else has access to it, even though you didn't create this account, it's still under your email address. You could also change your email settings here. So maybe you have a uh, an email that you don't use and you don't care if Facebook notifications get sent there, go ahead and add that email here and make that the primary email. That might help as well. And hopefully we'll continue to find more solutions because this is really annoying. Uh, the other thing that I'm about ready to do is to start creating a filter here in Gmail. So I've got this email that says welcome to Facebook. If I go back, some of them say confirming your phone number, but let's just say for the welcome to Facebook email, I could just go up here and I could type welcome to Facebook. If I create a filter, so if I go down here in the drop down and I say welcome to fa Facebook and I'm going to actually put that in the subject of my filter here in Gmail. And we'll actually also put it in quotes, so it has to absolutely say, welcome to Facebook. Now we search, we only get these two emails here. So I'll go ahead and I can create a filter with this search. It's always any subject, email with the subject, welcome to Facebook, exactly like that. I am going to automatically, we can send it to the trash. We'll just delete it here. And then I could create this filter so that automatically when I receive an email that has the exact words welcome to Facebook in it, it will go to my trash. Now that is hopefully not the solution that we want to do because that's not a permanent solution. I could accidentally delete some other emails that weren't spam, but that might be a workaround that some of you can use. Um, it does take a little bit of work here in Gmail to create those labels, but it might help in the meantime. And hopefully Facebook will get their act together and fix this as well, maybe let us uh, put a setting on Facebook saying, hey, I never want anybody to be able to sign up to Facebook with this email address. But that's pretty much what I have for you guys today. I'd love to hear about your experience with this down in the comment section below if you found out a better way to fix it or just have a little bit more insight than I do. I hope this video was at least somewhat helpful. And if it was, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.